Good day, everyone. Willis Bell here at the Air Nation Air Station CFNR. Uh, great to have you with us. Uh, we're very honoured and a pleasure to have uh, Shanice Sigsworth with us today. We're going to sit down and chat with some, uh, talk about some ball. I, I know she plays a lot of ball in Vancouver. She's from Vancouver. She's uh, played with uh, All My Relations, uh, the ladies uh, team. And last year, uh, 2022, they're champs. Uh, and it was a really interesting tournament, which we lo I'd love to ask some questions about. Uh, so just uh, want to see how you're doing today, uh, Shanice. Yeah, thanks, Willis, for having me. Um, yeah, I'm doing great. Playing lots of ball, getting excited for the big tournament. Tip off in like less or just over two weeks now. So, yeah, just getting ready for that, getting everything else prepared. Yeah, I'm very excited. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, chat with us. Obviously, these are going to be aired over the tournament uh, when it starts, which is going to be on uh, 11th of February. So I just wanted to ask questions about, uh, obviously, your ball career. Uh, how many years have you played in the All-Native Basketball Tournament? This year will be my fourth year. Yeah. Excellent, because so, I remember excited. a couple of years ago, you guys uh, had some really good showings. But last year, obviously, was the the pinnacle of it all. So this is going to be your fifth year. I remember last year we did your game, uh, the uh, your second game. You uh, it was on uh, I think it was Tuesday night, Wednesday night. You played uh, Wednesday afternoon. Pardon me. You played against Milkamine, and I remember we broadcast that game. And I talked to you afterwards in the hallway. Uh, but you, I remember you guys didn't have a very good game. Your shooting wasn't there, and you you guys played well, but just nothing would drop, and uh, you end up losing to Similkamine, and which is a great battle, which happened in the final also. And I remember you had after losing that game, you had to play that night. So after losing a tough game, how do you how do you uh, rebound yourself and your team when you there's a double double knockout situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a tough game. We were still trying to gel and figure out chemistry and what everyone's roles were on the team. And I think obviously that was evident. We lost. We just like weren't coming together necessarily as a team. But, you know, it's double knockout. It's do or die for the next game. Um, I believe it was between the games or maybe after. We had um, James Harry Sr. and his uncle come and do a circle for us. And we just had really good communication within that circle and it was just like a really safe space for us to communicate and talk things out and i think that's just what clicked for us because after then it was like every game we just got consecutively better so yeah it's fabulous it's it's a keen positive right because of course you lost it's frustrating it's disappointing but you have to again double knockout you're not out yet right you have to lose two mm -hmm. and then you're gone but i remember that you, you guys i just said you know you just regroup and you guys mm -hmm. did, and then you played on uh, that night, then you played Friday, and then you won in semifinal, and then it was really a, a great final. It was wonderful to watch. Uh, again, it was, anyone could win, and then you guys were successful. How did that feel? That was, honestly, I kind of like, I <laughs> had to watch back of the final game because I blacked out when I play. I'm, I was like, what even happened? I know there was lots of momentum changes in the game, and. Um, our coach called timeouts at the right spots and yeah just looking back it was just a game of momentum swings and like sure just will and grit to wanting to win so I'm really proud of us that we did that accomplish that because Smil Kameen is such a amazing they're they're a great competition so I knew it was going to be a grind and we all knew we had to leave it everything on the floor I was like this is the last game of the tournament so just got to leave it all on the floor and see what happens. Yeah, and, uh, and actually, uh, yesterday I spoke with uh, Mike Reed and Jasmine Montgomery mm -hmm. Reed yesterday, and uh, they, and again I brought that up, and she was, yeah, it's not good being uh, second, but uh, again, a, you, there's another year, right? And that's the thing about the All Native; it's bragging rights for a year. Uh, yeah. That leads into my next uh, question about pressure. I know that you obviously played at an elite level. You played in many tournaments, whether it be in Canada, whether it be in the United States. Uh, how do you handle pressure, especially with the crowds such as? that happened in the all native basketball tournament? Um, first, I'd just like to say, yes, I've played in a lot of tournaments, but the crowd and the energy at all native is unmatched by a long shot. So I don't know. I think I do very well under pressure. So it's like, I feel like I'm in my natural habitat. Um, I like, I feed off of the crowd, the energy of my teammates. Um, yeah, it's just, 
I do well under pressure. It's just something where I'm like, okay, it's do or die time and I'm going to give it my all. So let's just see what happens. Yeah. What I noticed last year in the final, when obviously you're playing against a team that you lost earlier in the tournament, uh, your, your team focus was pretty, pretty spot on. I, I think, you know, again, you just obviously don't want to lose them twice. So, mm-hmm. and that didn't happen. But uh, again, uh, with that, uh, when you're playing with your team, do you have any, what, what are your strengths that you bring to your team and uh, you feed off uh, your other teammates with? Um, well, I try and be a leader on the team and lead by example. So if it's communication that we're lacking, I always try and step that up on the court uh, during timeouts, things like that. But I think we all feed off each other's energies. So when someone's really low, we really try and invest as much energy to bring that person up so we can all stay at like a high energy state because yeah energy is huge on teams and if someone is bringing it down we really gotta boost them up because it's a game of high emotions and intensity and like it's passions and it can go has its waves throughout the game so yeah i try and bring some leadership and i also feed off of people's energy so yeah Fabulous. Again, reminder, uh, folks, Willis Pernell here with uh, Shanice Sigsworth. We're just acting some ball leading up to the All-Native Basketball Tournament, which is happening 11th of February, and it's going to be great to be back in uh, Rupert. Ten months ago, you won a championship, so it, it's usually a year, but we're we're because uh, of the COVID and so forth, it's great to be b- back in Rupert uh, in a few weeks. And it, it's be, again, when I played it, the best thing was, and I think one of the toughest things to do is to, to be a defending champ because everyone wants to knock you down, right? And it's, mm-hmm. so what keeps you motivated uh, to uh, stay at that caliber of ball and uh, whether it be individually and with your teammates? Um, right now for me, like basketball has given me so much in my life. I reflect and I had scholarship through university and now moving, well, being in Vancouver for the last four years, I've found a great, amazing community. And I think last year we had so much community support and that was a big motivator for us. Like we're not just representing ourselves and our individual nations, but we're representing the community of East Van. So for me, that's a big motivator. Um, We still have that community sport to represent. Um, Yes, we are a club team, but it's, I do it for my sisters. Everyone on my team is my sisters. Uh, alumni, current players, future players that we want to bring up. So just doing it for each other. That's fabulous. Uh, that actually a good segue into uh, obviously you're playing with your sisters and All My Relations is a great team because, again, it's a club team compared to, say, Kit Catla, which is a community team. And mm-hmm. even though like a lot of players might live elsewhere, but you guys are all in Vancouver, which is awesome. So in your ball career, have you had any individual person that has an influence influenced you in your life or ball and for what reason um i mean not necessarily i mean i've had lots of people that in my life have always pushed me whether that be teammates um always looking up to the older players especially when you're a rookie or new to a team um and then yeah just people that have supported me throughout the years whether it's like my parents they're my big supporters they're always watching they love when this tournament because you guys do such an amazing job of broadcasting and announcing and all that kind of stuff so they love it um yeah i wouldn't necessarily say there's a specific person um i've always just drawn off different people for different reasons the end depends where i am in my career what my focus is that's awesome uh so being in the basketball tournament in Rupert, uh, I know it's a it's a big tournament. It's great culturally, great for uh, uh, connection with different communities, and of course, you guys bring it from Vancouver. And uh, obviously, you got great uh, teammates. Uh, I think um, Pam Baker is your coach. Is that correct? This correct. Year? Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, do you have a fond memory? Uh, playing in the All Native Basketball Tournament, obviously last year is probably one of the fondest when you're yeah. game champions. Yeah, honestly, last year's final game, that was one of the best moments ever. I I was so shocked. <laughs> Everyone was like running into the middle, um, cheering, and I was just like stunned. Like, did we just do that? That's awesome. Um, yeah, that was definitely by far the most fondest moment for me. 
and just doing it for my teammates like Jolene this is I think her like was her 17th or 18th year going up so just doing it for her because she's put in so much work to this team and creating this like amazing culture and uh, vehicle for Indigenous women to access in Vancouver. That's fabulous. It, it's wonderful, especially I think what brings gratitude and just appreciation for the game, especially with the teammates and again, the focus that you guys all had and the determination, you know, kind of like, uh, not revenge, but <laughs> you, you guys knew you could beat Similkameen, right? And that happened and it was fabulous to see. And again, I think I, in, Jasmine said they're going to pretty much have the same squad. And I know you've played with a lot of them, like Jade and Jasmine. And yeah. so it's going to be great to, uh, I haven't seen the draw. I think other people have seen it and I'm with the board. So it, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> it, it's going to be great to just watch ball. I don't, I live in Nelson. I don't see a lot of it. So mm -hmm. that's why I was connected with people to see how ball's going. But uh, again, uh, we really appreciate your time and, uh, and leading up to the next couple of weeks. Uh, would you like to share anything that uh, prior to uh, your games, uh, um, for me, this next week, I'll go pretty hard at uh, still cardio and practices. We try and practice a couple times a week and then kind of taper off the le week leading up to it because we don't want any injuries, things like that. Um, for me, I feel like I've aged like three years during COVID. Uh, <laughs> my body has. <laughs> so getting proper warm ups, getting proper cool downs. Nutrition's got to be on point. Um, and getting a lot of sleep, as you know, like I do shift work because I'm a nurse. So my sleep schedule has been kind of crazy to make up for the whole week that I'm going to be up there. So that's something I'm definitely going to try and prioritize it, is sleep. That's awesome. Man. Again, I'd like to uh, really appreciate your time, uh, taking time to talk ball and obviously talk about uh, what you're going to and hear about how you're going to approach Rupert in the next couple of weeks. And uh, again, with the next couple of weeks, uh, yeah, be well. Take care. And again, I uh, really appreciate your time, uh, Shanice. And uh, we wish you the very best. And we, yeah, we can't wait to watch your team play. And uh, the defending champs, uh, all my relations from Vancouver, Shanice Siegsworth. Again, uh, the very best. And uh, thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Wills, for having me. Take care.